Hello. So we are back in this time. We have a nice laptop to repair. It's an Asus VivoBook. Uh, i5 CPU. And the problem with this one, the customer is saying, is not responding to the power button. Let's check the customer email. This is an Asus X1400 orange charger like home zone, but not responding to the power button pressed. So basically the laptop is charging, but not coming on. Let's plug a charger. Actually, we have both ports. Check that we have USB-C and normal port. I'm going to use the normal one. I mean, when you have to choose like a round pin or USB-C, yeah, choose the round pin because the round pin is still making sense. Yeah, this is the one. Uh, 19 volts. Good. Plug in the charger. And it's taking like 1.3 amps. Then it's going down to 0 0.9. Pressing the power button, nothing happened. Check that. Hmm? Laptop is dead. The charging light. Yeah, we do have the charging light here. I will say, let's open the laptop and let's have a look inside. A laptop which is charging means the main power rail is on. The EC chip, it's up and running. So the only thing left when you have a fall like this is actually a missing like 5 volts LDO or a faulty keyboard or even a frozen EC chip. So I'm really curious what can be the problem here. And I think what I will check first, it will be the keyboard. Yeah. And the laptop, it's open. Yeah, that's a nice motherboard. We have no RAM memory. Probably it's onboard RAM. The motherboard is looking fine. I can't see liquid damage. We have a nice EC chip here. Uh, like I said, let's check the power button first. Yeah, just to be sure, we are not uh, getting fooled by a faulty keyboard. So the way you check the power button, the power button is on the keyboard. We are looking for the voltage, pressing the power button and nothing happened. Pressing the power button, nothing happened. Pressing the power button, nothing happened. Pressing the power button, no. Pressing the power button, nothing, nothing. Yeah, check that, yeah. So we have 3.2, pressing the power button is going to zero, you can see, yeah. So the keyboard, it is good. Now I'm gonna disconnect the battery, just to be sure we don't have some frozen EC chip. What is that? <laughs> I can see from here, check that, check that, that's liquid damage. No way. Let's go under the microscope. What is that? Huh? That's actually liquid damage. Let me unplug the keyboard. But you know what is strange? It's strange because the power button is not here. Uh, yeah, we do have some liquid damage here. So for me, it's still strange. Even with this liquid damage, it doesn't really have anything to do with actually the fault. The power button track was somewhere here. But we clean it. Uh, let me grab my toothbrush. Let's be sure we are cleaning the connector. Good. And good. Looking good. No bridges. No. Looking fine. Good. Let's plug the keyboard connector back. So the keyboard is plugged back. Good. Plug in the battery. Plug in the charger. And the board is coming on. Check that. It's taking like 1.9 amps. 
two amps. The laptop is on again. We have a picture. Check that. So what do you think about that? Huh? Let me shut down the laptop. So the laptop itself is still taking 900 milliamps. I'm assuming it's the charging current. Pressing the power button. And it's coming on straight away. And of course, we have picture. I can't believe. I was about to swear, you know, the actually liquid damage had nothing to do with the uh, power button track. But looks like it has something to do. I mean, depends what the ECG chip is doing. Let's say you have uh, you have keys which are pressed because liquid damage means you have keys which are pressed. So not sure if the ECG chip it will ignore the power button or not. Wait, what is that? Uh, you know what? We should check properly the board. Yeah, there is another liquid damage. What is that? Huh? Okay, let's check the board properly. Good, so here is cleaned. Good. Let's be sure we don't have here is some sign of liquid, I think. No, it's a, it's a shadow. Here is fine. Just let me know if I'm missing something, yeah? We have that tricky charging port. Is the one which want to see if the charger is all plugged in. Yeah. Disconnector. Okay, now it's plugged straight. We have the BQ chip here. Here is some sign of liquid damage. Here is a little bit of liquid damage. Good. Wow, what is here? You see why it's important to check the board properly? Yeah, that's why. I'm gonna clean it here. Now let's take the connector out. The connector is fine, nothing wrong with the connector. Good, so here everything is sorted. Then we have this board. And here everything is looking fine. Okay, now it's fine. And that's all. Yeah, we have the BIOS chip here. BIOS chip, check that. Liquid damage on the BIOS chip. I mean, not sure if that's liquid damage. Good. And now everything is looking fine. Yeah, definitely. Wow, what a job. Some people it will say easy pizza. I mean, this is a lucky case. Um, nothing was actually dead. Just uh, just bridges on uh, different components over the board. Plug in the charger, and yeah, 
it's charging and it's coming on. You can see here the light. Let's wait because we reset the BIOS and we have picture indeed. And it's loading the windows. Ha! A perfect job for a Monday. Huh? Yeah, the laptop trying to do some updates. But anyway, now you know how to check. Yeah, everything is fine. And let's say you don't have liquid damage, then checking the power button at the keyboard connector if the power button is on the keyboard then you have a few more power supplies to check to, to ground to see if the power supply are not shorted to ground and of course disconnecting the battery or and the BIOS battery okay I'm gonna stop now I will say uh, thank you for watching you know like subscribe if you like the video and uh, see you on the next one yeah probably later because I have a bunch of jobs anyway have a beautiful week bye Hey, if you find my content being helpful, don't forget you can support this channel by pressing the join button and you can get instantly access to our members only cool collection and uh, Discord private channels for support with your repairs. Also, you can have a look on our uh, United Kingdom uh, eBay where you can find some cool and unique products. United States eBay store or our Patreon page. Thank you.